Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, you know, drop a line. I would love to change to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give you a good uplift or insight that you truly needed please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share will be greatly appreciated and um the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey oka is transitioning uh while facing spiritual opposition stay true towards uh your growth of light it's true you know uh spiritual opposition i, I don't know if i i think i did a video about this like about a year or two ago but it you know it came across me again because i've been facing it a lot um, and I know a lot of other people are as well. When you're going through a lot of transitions, you know, you, you can look back at life and really just look and see how different things has taken place into your life and the life lessons that you have. You know, not seeing things as a, a negative or a positive, but just being able to understand um you know the things that you need to learn just from connecting with other people that's what we all are doing we're all learning and teaching each other different life lessons that we need to take towards life and it's just like the more you grow it's just like you're any up and on, on your your light um and then at times your light can really you know uh it can really bother people and you'll start seeing how people will start projecting their negativity on you you know especially when you're you know you're you're moving in your purpose and a lot of time when you're moving in your purpose you'll have a lot of a uh, negative vibrational come to you and you're just like where is this coming from you know why you know if you don't have anything nice to say why i say it at all well, you know you can have that that type of uh you know that 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 truth that you walk and stand by but doesn't mean that everybody else is going to do that and these are the different times where you have to stay focused on yourself and just being able to know it just remind me of the video that i did a while back where um it says you know um you you don't have big things popping unless the devil's trying to stop you know and it's true you know even though the devil can't stop you from what you're doing only you can stop you but it's just at that point when you come in, into life and you know that you're on your purpose you know you have a good vibe you're seeing everything in a passionate way i'm not even really sure how you know your life will truly unfold but you're allowing yourself to really be in that passion of saying you know i'm growing i'm seeing my life and in different uh vibrations and frequencies that understands uh uh, what I need to do to stand strong within myself allowing myself to not dim my light for anything or anyone allowing myself to push forward even when different vibrations and situations and um, uh, blockages or try to pull me back allowing myself to keep moving forward into that you know being able to take a break you know being solid on my boundaries not just with other people but within myself allowing myself to not uh, you know um, to cut cords with um, soul ties cut, cut, cutting cords with toxic people but also seeing the parts of yourself that gravitated you know have that stuff gravitate towards you anyway you know a lot of times we're going through different things and we try to understand you know why do we uh have people like this into our lives why do we experience this and you have to understand there are some people that are comfortable with staying in their life uh of of lies of uh illusions of um fear you know there's times we've done it you know but you have to understand that everybody's in that vibration of where you are there are sometimes people will compare a chapter 2 to your chapter 20 and you have to be able to allow yourself to understand you know don't take it personal when you don't take it personal you'll start being able to move life in life a lot more uh, gracefully you know um and those are the different things that's going on you know it's like the last few days that i've been pushing out uh just trying to place pause on myself it just really allowed me to really reflect on the different things that goes on in life and you know and then it, it's just like so many 
things that I can say, you know, before I was always like, oh, this is a negative, this is a positive, and then it got to that point where you have to stop seeing it, is that these are experiences for you to be able to experience, to be able to go through your growth. If you never experienced these things, you wouldn't know where to look at the red flags. You wouldn't understand why certain things are the way they are, why certain people are the way they are. You're going to have people that are going to provide for you. There will be different people that will send blessings towards you. You'll have different people that will send hate towards your way. You'll have people that will encourage you. You'll have people that will want to, um, you know, uh, invest in you. But you'll also have people that will place doubt on you. You'll actually have people that will uh, wish the worst on you. You know, push different things on your life. And then there'll be different times where it makes you want to fall back and quit. You know, I've had uh, different situations where I felt like that. And then it was just like, no, nah. you know, when you're doing something good like this, this is letting you know you're doing something good because of, of situations like that. There'll be different times where you can feel like the vibe is really real, you know, and it'll be not real. You know, there'll be different people who are like, oh, I want you to do stuff this way and do stuff that way. And then it'll, it'll be a vibe. It's like, hey, don't listen to that. It'll be something in your gut to say and something ain't right about that. And, you know, a lot of times your spirit. And your spirit will let you know, hey, there's something they ain't right about that person. They trying to set you up for something, you know, or different things like that. And you'll understand that there's different times that you may be on that vibe where people are really seeing like, dad, this person really knows what they're what they're uh, going through. And that person is, is being very vocal about it. They're being projective about this to be able to help me. You know, let me go ahead and stay stay next to this person. You know, they're really teaching me some things. We can, you know, we can be able to swap, you know, vibrations on different knowledge and different experiences to help us grow. Because we're all teachers and um, students towards different things in our life. You know, uh, it, it's just like you don't know your your walking mantra. Your your walking. Um, uh, uh, affirmation your walking blessing you know your um your trials and your tribulation can be uh you know your best testimony you know being able to be your strongest when you're going through weak you know uh weak situations you know and these are the different things is like when you're going through that you will face a lot of spiritual opposition uh towards that and it, it is just like being able to do that it is ugh. When I say there's just been so much that's been going on through this week. And it's just like since the strawberry moon, everything has been, you know, intense. Like very intense. It's like where you have to just step back and just stay focused on you. And I'll tell people that real quick. I don't even give an introduction. I, you know, give an introduction towards that. I'll just step back, you know, and just be able to stay focused on me. You know, I love what I do. You know, I'm very passionate about, you know, my podcast, you know, being able to be one on one with you guys, um, being able, you know, um, to be able to understand you have a purpose on that. You know, people see that you're coming uh, from a genuine place. And, you know, and it's just like when, when we're going through our path, a lot of times it's hard for us to stay straight on that narrow path, being able to understand that we doing the right thing or we making the right decisions. And there's a lot of times they'll tell you. There's no right or wrong way to do stuff is just to be able to do it because it's like if it's not the right way, then you're going to learn from that and they will be showing you what not to do what uh, what to do. And even when it's the right way, then you, you're going to know, hey, you know, I'm being more confident about myself. I'm believing in that. I'm trusting in my gut. I'm, my confidence within myself is is like is skyrocketing. And these are the different things that's taking place in my life that I truly need it. And it's just like, you know, um, if, if it's something that we're going through and we may feel like this vibration, go ahead and jump. You know, universe is going to tell you, take that leap of faith within yourself. You know, there's sometimes you got to be risky within the things that you're doing. And these are the things that's showing you, are you being risky because things are getting uncomfortable and you're trying to get, you know, you're trying to take shortcuts to the blessing. Or there are certain things that you really are you know, you're really trying to take a chance on something because this situation keeps showing up. And it'll start showing you, things will start showing up in pairs with you, you know, on what you're needing to do within your life. And it'll be that that time where it's telling you, you know, um, be that risk taker. But see, are you taking risks to create a bigger benefit for you? 
that's going to not just create something, you know, very positive and enlightenment for just you, but other people that are watching you, other people that are being guided towards you, or you're doing different things because you may be tired of the situation you're in. You may be dealing with different soul ties. You may be dealing with different struggles that you um, are really are, are, are growing weary about. It's really like, you know, spiritually and emotionally and mentally just draining you. And those are the different things that you're telling you, you know, be comfortable with the decisions you make. And, you know, even with the decisions you're making, it, like I said, it's not really a, a wrong or a right way to do it because you're, you're learning from it either way. And those are the different things that's taking place into your life. So if you're going through a spiritual opposition, you know, because it was just like I was looking for new uh, thumbnails and a new, um, you know, different posts that I needed to make. Because I said, Dag, I'm, you know, there's some of them like, eh, really feeling right now. And there'll be different things because I came up on the spiritual opposition. It's like I came up on it a few days ago. And then when I went on a different site, you know, to get my um, thumbnails, it was just like, or, or my different posts that I put up on my community page. You know, this came up again, and it's like it's a, it's important um, to understand that when you uh, start awakening, and your light will trigger the shadow parts of other people. It's like pulling the blinds up um, on the morning um, when other people are sleeping. It's like most people don't like being woke up, so they will try to pull pull you back and try to uh, sleep with them it's like stay true to yourself your path no matter what what resistance you face you know because you're going to be dealing with your not just other people's resistance but it'll be yours too because a lot of times you have to understand we're moving forward in a frequency we're not accustomed to and then there'll be different times where things as soon as I say that man it was like chills just went because <laughs> if it's not the chills it's like the tip of my nose is like really itching like crazy and it is just like you're going through a whole new different frequency and it is it's been preparing you this for a good minute and when you've been going through that you're, you're seeing things in a lot different ways and it's just like guides um your guides are are really you know working with you when you're allowing yourself as soon as i said that god dog uh, um, thank you. It's just like usually I'm on that right subject and my nose start itching like that when I start talking about stuff like that. But um, your guides are really working with you when they're seeing that, okay, this person ain't being resisting. You know, yeah, they may be a little scared and they, they may be um, a little nervous, but that's natural, you know, for you to do that because you're in a whole new frequency. You're not allowing yourself to let doubt seek in and keep you in that vibration of where, you know, hey, you know, I don't, I don't know if I have what it takes to do this. You know, and a lot of times we don't, you know, it's natural for you to feel that way when things are really not, you know, skyrocketing like you want it to. A lot of times it's kind of slow or there'll be different times where it'll feel like a hiccup. You know, you'll jump, you know, this way and you'll start seeing good things are happening. But it's just something in your gut is telling you, hey, you're, you're, you're on to something. Hey, you know, these are the good things that's taking place into your life. You know, you're learning as you're growing. You're seeing your experience was a path of a passion that you didn't even know about. This, this strengthening your purpose. You know, you don't realize that, you know, your pain has a purpose. Your setbacks have a purpose. Your life was chosen for you before you even got here. You know, your path of whatever you're facing right now, you don't realize how it could be something that you can manifest to overcome something and it's whatever it is that you're facing it can be able to help so many people in so many different ways because you may be overcoming certain things that people don't see a way out of and when you're doing that it will bring some kind of vibration of resistance through a lot of loopholes and you have to understand do not allow those loopholes of other people to stop you from what you're doing there will be different times where people will not like the good things about you so they'll try to sit up here and bring something negative to you because they don't have anything good to say and I'm that type of person like this is my platform if you don't like how I do things unsubscribe stop watching my videos matter of fact you don't even have to comment you can just go you know it's not going to stop me from doing what I want to do these are the things that I'm very passionate about it may not help you but it's investing in somebody else's wealth just like it's investing in my own so there'll be different times that I may speak out of turn to somebody that really just feels some type of way about me I have a lot of people that want to wish bad on me that watches me that's fine as well 
but these are the things it's like my experiences is not going to allow me to stop you know what other people opinion about my life is not going to allow me to stop you know this is going to let me know I'm on something good when I see there's resistance towards other people there's something that you know darkness does not want me to reach there's a pinnacle that I may have set for myself that the enemy don't want me to do and that's just going to allow me to know oh I must be on to something good if I have things like this trying to stop me if I have petty you know vibration that comes to me that may say something out the way am I going to allow that to ruin my day no that's just going to allow me to know a hey, keep pushing because you're going to have different things like this happening and this is going to be that thing you life is a test and you have to understand you there's some type of vibrations you gonna have to show them I study through my experiences I have truly studied you know, through my setbacks, I have gone through so many setbacks that mess is natural to me. But it's just a fact is I'm not going to get so used to that where I become my own setback. You know, I'm going to allow this to know I have, there's eventually, there's going to be a powerful comeback that you didn't even recognize within yourself that you're going to be on to. You know, and these are the different things that's taking place into your life where you're going to have to understand. Do not allow yourself to get to that point where you're ready to give up just because other people are just praying that their vibrations can get you to do that that's going to show you you're on something good and anytime somebody comes to me and say Rosalind I'm going through this type of warfare I'm going through that and I will always encourage them whether or not we still speaking or we are still speaking I will always tell them you are going to have a vibration where it's going to really challenge you it's going to make you want to give up it's going to make you say to hell with everything it's going to make you want to just even have choice words for God in the universe and anything else is out there to set to help you and we don't realize the things that we're facing it don't the, it, it's just the controversy that we have to really face the adversity the diversity that we go through is going to be that strength that's going to catapult you in different ways because that's going to make you it's like you got to be hungry for something you got to be aggressive for something if there'll be different times where you got to take that step back just to, just get that pause because self-care is, is very heavy y'all see that I'll, I'll step off the map real quick and don't even say anything i'll let people think what they want and I, i'm just like sometimes you got to be quiet and let god show them you know, and you have to be that way. There'll be different things that you know. There'll be people out there that's watching you that really appreciate what you're doing. They see it's like, man, that person I went through a lot of stuff. They could be the person in the inner circle of the haters and just be that one that's just watching. You know, just watching like, Dad, you must be on some real good stuff. And you ain't even got to be big. You, I mean, you don't have to have a lot of... Uh, 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 followers, you ain't got to have a lot of friends. You can you barely get free friend requests. A lot of times they tell you it's just like that. That most important person that's in the world is doing some big things. They have a little bit of audience just until that a certain moment, and then it's like you blow the heck up. You blow you blow the heck up. You end up being global just in one split second when God feel like you ready for that. Regardless of what you're going through, regardless of what you're constantly facing, regardless on how much hatred you get out in that world. When you know you're doing something good and you know you're pushing forward and you may not even know where you're going. And a lot of times it'll make you feel like, Dag, I ain't really got all this going on in my life. Why do people keep coming at me like that? Because they see something in you you don't see in yourself. They truly do. It's just that you got power, and you got the power of life and death on your tongue. I'm serious. I don't heard that so many daggone different times from that song with Nikki, with uh, Tasha Cobb, you know. And then I hear other people say it, especially on different platforms that I'm connected to. And you just don't realize that. You really just don't realize that. And there will be moments where you are really dealing with spiritual opposition. But don't allow that to stop you. Whatever you got going on, don't allow that to stop you. Unless God is literally telling you, hey, just take that minute. Then you be obedient of what he's telling you to do. He's telling you to rest because a lot of times, you know, I be needing to rest. And I get hard-headed as I don't know what and saying, no, I feel like I need to do that. No, I feel like I need to do that. And it's like me being hard-headed, me being stubborn, you know. And the guy's like, this is the reason why I picked you because you got a brave heart, but you got that stubborn soul. And that's the reason why I picked you. But there'll be times you need to sit up here and listen when I tell you. 
take a rest retreat your body is trying to tell you hey I need to go ahead and, and, and take a pause for the cause and then go ahead and go on about my business and then when I come back you be more powerful than you were when you left you know you had to sit here and a lot of times God is telling you going through that spiritual stillness be silent for a while different things is going on around you may take notice of it but you you ain't got to announce that you know you don't even have to announce that you just allow yourself to be observing of that and, and you know it'll be it'll be like spirit god like check that yeah i'll check that you seen that yeah all right then what is that as long as you see that that's all you need to know and just keep moving because you moving in different ways that you don't even know. You ain't got to be having, you know, you ain't got to be popping like that for you to really be spiritually popping. Because you spiritually popping and you could be just, <laughs> you know, you can really be like that and don't realize that about yourself. And maybe it's just like you have to go through things a lot. Because a lot of times we can get in that vibration where we, 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 we cloak in self-pity. I've been there. You know, when things is just going at you like this, really just going at you, where it's like friends, families, you know, supporters, doubters, it, you know, enemy, enemy, enemy comes in. It's like, dad, you don't know the difference between friend and enemy no more because the vibrations is coming in quick at the same vibration. But you had to understand when you're going through stuff and you leveling up. Universe is going to show you who is in your corner. Who is the people you need to keep? Who is the people you need to stay the heck away from? These are the ones you need to keep in your corner to stay focused. There will be sometimes people going through their own initial healing. So y'all might, might be clashing at this time. And then God's like, you need, need to be able to let go for a minute. And then when you let go, they'll eventually come back. And sometimes, you know, you be in that vibration where you just angry because there's so many different things like, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't say that to somebody. I wouldn't treat them like that. You have to understand not everybody got that same mindset as you. Not everybody got that same heart rate that pulsates out like that as you do. So you have to understand there's something special about you. That love, love, loves run fiercely through you. And there'll be different times where you don't even see it. And a lot of times when we got so much going, chaos is going on in our life. It may feel like we're alone. We may feel like we're not being loved. But you, you just don't realize this is the whole part of that plan for you. So I hope you were able to resonate with this, this spiritual opposition uh, uh, piece of content. Um, I missed y'all, you know, I said I had to go off for off the grid for a minute, you know, just to be able to collect myself, but I'm feeling good and energetic. So I hope y'all are feeling the same way. It's just like this strawberry, that, that strawberry, uh, that go, um, moon wasn't no joke. <laughs> so I had to be able to go ahead and, and do what I needed to do for myself and then come back and get correct. So, I hope y'all were able to resonate with the content of this video. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Mighty, Mighty Robs, uh, Anthony Predator, uh, Pleasant. Much love to you as well. You know, I leave all my content, um, my content, I leave all my contact uh, information in the description box below. There's a lot of people that may be going through different things, trying to find their way through their purpose or understand their purpose. And that's a part of my um I like work as well. I love to be able to help other people. I always say, hey, you know, give me a contact. You know, go ahead and shoot me an email or shoot me a, a DM. And I'll try my best to be able to help you. Whatever we speak on is confidential. You know, I'll try my best to be able to help out the best way I can. You know, I love being able to... Uh, be able to shed some kind of light on on different things that, that's going on into your life you know we're all here to be able to help and support people to just be able to give that that you know you, you sometimes you may be that plug just to be able to help people recognize the light that they got within themselves that you know they may not feel like they have and you do you really do when you question that your life's bigger than you you actually realize this so you know i try to help out my best way to do that you know i also be dropping my gems of uh podcast as well too um and if you ever feel um generous enough to drop a donation please you know that's all up in the description box below as well so i hope you're having a, a blessed day you know you're going through growth the process you're going through different you know um uh, different uh spiritual warfare hey trust and believe is is really setting you know setting a path for greatness for you so keep going 
keep you know keep keep vibing you know if you're on to something even if you don't you sure you're, you're not sure you're on to something something's about to be able to let you know hey you on to something you know keep going on your path be able to be persistent and consistent the devil is busy by trying to sit up here and make you you know uh, think that nothing good is coming towards your way you know this is when the blessings are you know that is taking place where you know it is just that you have to be able to go through things to get to it and it's all good because, you know, you got something going for you. So stay persistent and consistent with yourself. You know, uh, whatever uh, you're trying to get towards into your life. I'm sending so so many um, beautiful vibrations towards your way to amplify that on whatever you're trying to work towards. You know, it become bigger than you ever imagined and what you ever expected. So, um, you know, I'm sending that towards your way. You know, just allow yourself to be able to keep going, you know, because your blessings come as a, a blink of the eye. So, you know, stay persistent and consistent with yourself. You know, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibe, frequencies. You know, it can really help people get a long way. Much love to you. Peace.